Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to crop your images and videos into circles, squares, and other shapes using Canva frames. Canva frames allow you to design some awesome content to use for social media posts, your website, or marketing campaigns for your brand or products. We will cover how to browse frames such as circles and other shapes from the Canva library, how to add images and videos to the frames, and how to edit the frames to get the perfect look. Not only will we cover how to use Canva frames on your computer, but also how to use frames in the Canva mobile app. So now let's head over to Canva and go over how to crop your images and videos into shapes using Canva frames. If you haven't already, you can unlock your free trial of Canva Pro and access all of Canva's professional tools and features by clicking my affiliate link in the video description. With Canva Pro, you can access a huge library of stock images, video clips, audio tracks, design templates, the background remover, and tons of other amazing tools that you can use to create your content. So let's go over how to add your images to frames. For this example, I think I'll create a new social media post. So let's click the create a design button and from the drop down menu, let's go down to custom size. For my template dimensions, let's type in 940 by 788 pixels. Once you're ready, go ahead and click on create new design. Now that I have my example template, let's go over how to use frames on Canva. The first thing we're going to discuss is how to browse the various frames in the Canva library. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you should see a tab called Elements. Let's click that now. Here's where you can search through tons of different photos, images, lines and shapes, and other graphics in the Canva library. This is also where you go to find all the Canva frames. To browse the frames on Canva, let's go up to the search bar here and type in frame. In the search results, you'll see all sorts of frames that you can use for your project, including circles, squares, rectangles, triangles, and tons of other shapes. They also have tons of abstract frames that you can use, and you can even add your images to computer screens, laptop screens, and even phone screens. Once you find a frame that you want to use, simply click it to add it to your project. Just like other elements, once you add your frame to your project, you can then resize it and rearrange it on your template. I already know that I'm also going to be adding a circle frame to my project, so let's go ahead and add it while we're here. Now that I've added frames to my project, let's go over how to add my images. I could browse the Canva library and use images from there, but I'm going to upload my own images. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the Uploads tab. From here, you can add images that you've previously uploaded to Canva, but I'm going to upload new images by going to the Upload Files button here. I can then find and open up the images that I want to use for my frames. Once your images finish uploading, you'll see them appear in the menu on the left hand side here. There we go. So for my top frame, I think I'll use this image here. When you click an image, it'll automatically be added to your template. So now let's click the image, drag it up, and drop it into the top frame. There we go. But I can't see my brand logo on the hoodies, so we're gonna have to adjust this a bit. If you double click your image inside the frame, you'll be taken to a menu where you can resize the image and rearrange the image within the frame. You want to make sure the part of your image that you want to be seen is viewable. Once you're finished, go ahead and click on done at the top here. So there's my first frame showing off my quantum design hoodies. For my circle frame here, I think I'll use this quantum designs t-shirt mockup. To add my photo to the frame, I'm simply going to go to the menu here, grab it and drag it over to the circle. There we go. And just like before, I can now double click my image and resize and rearrange my image inside the frame. Once you have your image centered correctly, you can then go up top and click on done. And I think I'll make my frame a bit bigger and move it down a bit. And voila, I've now added and edited two frames for my template. I think this looks pretty cool, but for my circle frame, I think I want to use a frame with a border. On Canva, some of the frames in the library actually have borders that you can adjust the colors for. Instead of selecting the plain circle frame, let's select this one here with the border. Once you add your frame, you can adjust the border color by going up to the top menu here. The first color icon will change the color inside the frame, 
but the second color icon will change the border color. So let's click the second icon here and open up the colors menu. You can then select whatever color you wish to use for your border. There we go. So now that I've added my new frame, let's go back to the uploads tab and add my t-shirt image. I'm also going to click to select the plane circle and use the trash can icon here to delete it. To delete both the image and the frame, go ahead and click on delete frame. So now let's resize and reposition my new circle with my colored border. I'm creating an example social media post to market my quantum designs apparel so I want my logos to be visible. There we go. I think my frames are looking pretty good. I can now start adding more text, graphics, and other elements to create my post. Canva has everything you need to create some awesome content for your brand or business, but to access everything in the Canva library, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So let's add one more frame to my template, but this time instead of adding an image to the frame, let's select a color. With my frame selected, I can go up to the color icon here and change it to whatever color I wish. By filling frames with colors, you can create some cool background elements and add some contrast to your template so your text and other elements will be more visible. So let's add a bit more text and add a few more changes to my post here. And voila, I think it's ready to add to my Facebook brand page. By using Canva frames, you can create some really cool content with just a few clicks. To download my new post, let's go up to share then go down to download from the drop down menu. Under file type, let's make sure we have PNG or JPG selected, then go down and click on download. Your new image will then be downloaded to your computer and you can use it for your social media page, your website, paid ad campaigns, or anything else you like. But on Canva, not only can you add images to your frames, but also add videos as well. Adding videos to your frames is a great way to grab your audience's attention and seems to work a lot better for advertising products and brands than using still images. So as an example, let's see if we can add a couple of frames to my template here and add a video to my frames instead of an image. So let's just use this rectangle and this square frame here and I think I'll select a white border. So to add videos to my frames, I could get videos from the Canva library, but I'm going to upload my own. So just like before, let's go over to the Uploads tab, then click on the Upload Files button. I can then find and upload the video that I want to use for my frame. I'll be using some video mockups of some of my Quantum Designs apparel. And just like I did with my images, once my video finishes uploading, I can simply click it and drag it over to my frame. Once inside the frame, your video should start playing so you can see how it looks. Not bad. And for my bottom frame, I think I'll use this video here. So as you can see, you can have multiple frames on your template, each playing different videos at the same time. Let's add a little text here so this will look like a legit Instagram story. If you wanted to make your video frame stand out even more, you can also animate your post. If you click the animate tab at the top left here, you can see a ton of different page animations that you can add to your template. These are great to add some eye-catching movement to go along with your videos. For my example post, I think I'll just use this animation here. There we go. And if we look at the top right, we can see my template will currently play for 10 seconds. Your template length will automatically be set to the length of your longest video. If you select a video, you'll see the video editing toolbar appear at the top. Since this is the longest video on my template at 10 seconds, I could shorten it by clicking the cut icon here and using the sliders on the end to select the portion of the video I want to play. I want this scene to play for about 7 seconds, so let's shorten both of the videos to about that. There we go. So now it shows that my scene will now play for 7.1 seconds. This will definitely make a cool Instagram story, but since it's a video, let's take it a bit further and add another scene. If I go down to the bottom here and click the add page icon, I can add a new page or duplicate my current page to create a new scene. So I'm just going to duplicate the page, change the text, and add a new frame. I'm just going to drag this video over to my new frame, and here's my new scene. Just like with the images, our videos can be resized and rearranged simply by clicking them within the frame. I think that'll work great. So let's play my new video that I created using frames and see how it looks. 
Not bad. I think this will work great for Instagram Reels, Facebook Stories, and maybe even YouTube Shorts. And as a quick note, when you download your project with videos inside your frame, make sure you export it as a MP4. And if you have multiple scenes, make sure you select to download all pages. You can then download your video and you'll then have some cool content to share with your audience. So the last thing I wanna briefly go over here is how to use frames on the Canva mobile app. If you haven't downloaded the Canva mobile app yet, I definitely recommend that you do so. The Canva mobile app provides you with a super fast, easy, and convenient way to create designs on your smartphone. So as an example, let's use the Canva mobile app to create an Instagram post using frames. Simply start by opening up the Canva app, then create a new project. For my post, I think I'll start by changing my background to black. There we go. So now let's go over how to add frames on the Canva mobile app. First, let's click this round plus sign icon at the bottom left of the screen. This will open up your main Canva menu with all the options that are available on your computer. To browse the Canva frames, we're gonna go down to the bottom here and click the Elements tab. And just like on our computer, let's go up to the search bar here and type in frame. In the search results, you should see all the frames that we saw earlier that are available on Canva. Go ahead and browse through the frames and simply click the one that you want to add to your project. Once it's added to your template, you can then resize and rearrange your frame as needed. To add an image or a video to your frame, make sure you have it selected. Then go down to the bottom here and click on the replace icon. This will open up a menu where you can access your camera roll, upload new media, and add videos and photos. So let's just go to the Uploads tab and add one of the images that I uploaded earlier. To add an image, simply click it to add it to the frame. There we go. I can now double click the image and resize and rearrange it within the frame if needed. You want to make sure the main part of your image is visible, so I want to make sure to show off my Quantum Designs t-shirt. Not bad. If you like, feel free to add more frames and add your text and other elements to create your post. Once you're finished creating your awesome content, you can then download it to post it to Instagram, your website, or maybe even run some paid ad campaigns. So that's a quick overview of how to use Canva frames to create some awesome posts, designs, and content. To unlock all the tools and features on Canva, make sure you head over to jasongandy.org and unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.